Okay, so here we uh, we uh, we determine we're, we're, we're you know this is catching on. It's catching on like like file. Um, there's so many dang products around here that I can use to help um, you guys have awareness when you're looking at product. So so you know how to hold it in your hand and look for certain cues in in determining its value. Some products in Hi-Fi are worth the extra money. They're worth the premium. They're worth that exorbitant, that exorbitant amount that you think is so exorbitant. If I was to break it down to you and you really actually knew what went into the thing, you would not think it's so exorbitant. Okay, because we're nutty in this uh, in the hobby and we we go farther than most will. So let's take something. Uh, Brian, can I borrow you a second? Just can you hold this just down on that on this? Just hold on to this part. Yep. Okay, I get to do the fun job. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay, so we're going to go into here. You probably, you might recognize the color of what this, this is, but a lot of people use this stuff, first of all. You know, look at that. Okay, so that, to me, shows a weak um, connection. So um, inside there, there might be strands of wire that are just loose and, and really making a poor, a poor connection. Maybe not, um, but, but that's, I don't like that. Like, I would never want that on my product. Okay, so let's see what's in here, okay? Not many people want to cut open a $1,000, $1,500 pair of speaker cables, but... I know how to repair it, so I will. Let's find out what's in it. Okay, let's see what's in this thing. Let's determine. You know, is it special geometry? Is it special conductors? Is it, is it you know, really interesting dielectric materials and shields and stuff? Or what are we talking about? Well, it's not. still working but personally I'd put heavy or something here heavy heat sink so that this, this, this flexion doesn't happen and because eventually these strands can break off. So let me find a fabric tool here and um, let's see uh, there we go. Get this off let's see what we're working with here. Shall we? Okay so these are you know these connections are I don't even know but I'm guessing well if a screw goes into them they're not pure time. So that means they're brass. Okay brass lug, you know, big old chunk. Um, and down here we have the two conductors that have been twisted together. Okay, and it appears as though it's it's braided wire, and it appears as though it could be flat oval, probably. Okay, um, and that's just because I know a little bit about, and they call the ovals in the name too. So okay, this dude, this dude is like this is this is like okay, okay, I'm gonna let him have it. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna throw down a little bit. Car audio wire. That's what this shit is. Okay, it maybe it's something else. Okay, I'm playing around and, and 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 okay, I'm gonna try and be light. But okay, what else is flat? I mean, the only other thing I've seen that's flat like this is for going under carpets, right? And this is this is for the car car environment. Like it's really resilient. You can tell it's super resilient um, um, material. So I would guess it's car audio stuff. Um, and um, nonetheless, okay, it, it, let, let's say it's it is really high end. Well, why? What? Okay, what? It, what it's it's braid shield. It's like oval braid shield that has been made into conductors. So go find yourself some copper braid shield um, that is a flat braid. That's what they call this, and um, and and get it in some zip cord. You buy this in China, dude. Ten cents a foot all day long. Um, um, so. You know, I, I would have to say, you know, maybe probably not the best value at a thousand bucks. You know, I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe maybe I should listen to it, huh? Let's do that, okay? We will do that. We will do that because that would be proper. We're gonna hook this up to the rig, and let's listen to it, and let's see, let's see how it does. Does it sound better or worse or whatever? Because maybe it, it sounds really good. And let me let me pose that question to the group, okay? If it sounds killer. And we buy it for ten cents a foot. Is it worth a thousand dollars for a pair of cables, or fifteen hundred? If it sounds that good, 
Can you put a price on sound, or does it have to be related to the materials cost? Tell me that, will you? Because I want to know. Okay, so we'll put them back to where they were. We had them folded over, and then we had them twisted into a thing. I can't stand that kind of thing, but whatever. Okay, twist it into a nipple, and then let's put this thing on here. Okay, put that puppy on there. Okay, let's tighten it down. Okay, and then what we'll do is later on I'm going to be making a, a recording. Um, I'll be in uh, on the rig, and we'll listen. We're listening to Jeff Jeff Rollins stuff right now. Um, eh, see, it's just yeah, whatever. I don't like it um, done like that, but nonetheless, um, it's a it's a. Well, let's, let's, let's listen to it, shall we? That's what people always say. Well, did you listen to it? No, because I I don't. Okay, maybe I can be surprised, but you know I've listened to shielding before in you know, a oval shielding but nonetheless okay so we'll listen and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do a we're gonna do a shootout you know what we could even do a frequency response on a, on a, on a scope and, and let's see we'll do that too okay so hey thanks so much uh for your time this was our this was uh one that we just uh saw this laying around and decided hey let's let's go ahead and do a speaker cable and and and, and look inside there and let's determine through pulling it apart if we think it's it's worth its hi-fi price um, you know, because some of the things you will find, you probably don't agree that they're worth the hi-fi price because of the materials that are inside. And then other things you look at and you're like, damn, that is worth the hi-fi price. You know, I mean, how can you, how can you, uh, argue something like, uh, you know, there's certain, I'll show you, we'll come across something that I'll say, see, like, how can you argue that? And it'll be some characteristic of something that you'd never find. It's only on things that are, you know, expensive and where people are very committed. So anyways, so that's our little thing on speaker wire and uh, Beaker. Remember Beaker from the Muppets? Remember Beaker? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, that's a chef. What was Beaker? Beaker was like, wee, wee, wee. So I'm going to come up with one, and I'm going to call it Beaker wire. And Beaker's going to be on there like, wee, and he's going to be Beaker wire. <laughs> Shall we? Let's do it. <laughs> All right. We'll see you later.